Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I am sharing a few projects with you that I created using the Bow Bunny Little Wonders collection. Um, I was sent some products from this collection. I was actually sent the collection pack, the 6x6, as well as some coordinating ribbons and flowers and stuff from uh, Julie and Daphne at Scrap and Create. And so I'm going to share with you what I created using the products that they had sent me. And then if you really like this collection, because trust me, it's really cute, you're going to like it, um, they're going to have some kits together and you can go to uh, scrapandcreate.com and pick up a kit. I'll put the link in the description box to this video for their website. So um, again, I don't have any of the 12 by 12s I just have a few scraps left and I do have uh, about half of the 6 by 6 paper pad left. So the first project you created, um, the cool thing about the collection pack is you get the boy and the girl papers and the sticker sheet. So I pulled out the girl papers and I created a cute little mini album. Or I think it's cute anyway. And the mini album is going to measure five and a half by seven and a half with a two and a half inch spine. <clears throat> so what I did was they sent me these cute little uh, photo metal corners. So I added those to the front here and this is some design paper that I layered up. I did use one of my dies and some solid white cardstock for my stash and die cut this cute little scalloped rectangle. These cute little banners are from the, uh, no they're called Noteworthy, um, the little Noteworthy pack which they sent me right here. You got all these. I only have like one of these left and a couple of these little banners. I used almost everything that they sent. I tried to use almost all, everything that they sent me. So I just layered those up here and then these flowers are gorgeous and they are from 49 Market. They sent me some white ones, pink ones, and navy and then the leaves come in the pack with the flowers as well. This is some pink seam binding they had sent as well and then this cute little arrow is a die cut, die cut um, and same with the tree. And then this cute little um, image here was actually from a 4x6 cut apart and I just trimmed around it here. And this is a border strip from the design paper. I just layered it up here. I did add these three little sequins for my stash just because I thought it needed a little sparkle on there. And then here is the spine. I used this cute little star paper, another one of those little banners from the Noteworthy. And they sent me these cute little baby charms. Um, the chain was for my stash and the little jump ring fastener was for my stash as well. But there's a cute little teddy bear, a cute little baby buggy, and a little pacifier right there. And then here is the paper on the back. This collection is really cute because it's an unusual color palette but it is absolutely adorable. I think that's what kind of drew me to it was the color palette was not your traditional baby colors. So you open it up and I have five pages in here <clears throat> and on the inside front cover I create a little flap here. This is one of the chipboard layered chipboard elements that they sent and again this is another one of the ephemera die cuts or noteworthy or whatever they're called I just wish everybody would be consistent they're die cuts people <laughs> and then I put a magnet they did send me some magnets so I did add a magnet closure here you open it up there's a place for a photo here the white card suck is from my stash and then um, I just made a little belly band here but you can slide the photo right underneath here and love the cute little bunny here um, and again a magnet closure I used my envelope punch board and took some design paper and made a cute little envelope and again a magnet closure there and then I just added a little insert here so I thought you could write all the baby information on that little card and then tuck it in there. And then the base of the mini album is a real light craft cardstock for my stash. So on the first page I have a pocket right here, another one of those super cute little um, die cuts and I add a little flower to her bow. And then there's a photo mat here, and there I just added white for my stash on the back. This is some more design paper. I love the navy and the pink. It is quite adorable. So then you flip it over, and on um, the back I have a top-loading pocket. I used a Martha Stewart border punch along the top edge here. These pull out, and then I ordered. A, I added some white cardstock here for journaling, and then you can add photos right here. And then again, I used this die is actually from Lawn Fawn, and it's a rectangle scallop die. So those go back in there. So the pages are all designed exactly the same way. Over here is the cute little animals. Oh my gosh, with a pink background, <laughs> and then some cute little um, photo mat here. And these photo mats are pretty good size. They measure four and three quarters by five and three quarters and then um, some more design paper here.
So it's pretty simple, but you know, again, the the papers are just really adorable, and it's all about the baby pictures anyway, because hello, it's a new baby. Some more cute little uh, paper right here. Again, an insert right here. I love the cute little arrows. And then another place for a photo, and there's the insert for this one. Over here, this is one of the 4x6 cards, and I just trimmed it down to fit on this pocket right here. Another cute little photo mat with the stars and a little starburst. And I love the little, I like to, again, it's a different color palette, but I thought it was adorable. Over here, some more cute little animals right here and here. And then again, that border punch, it's white here. And then some more of that cute arrow paper. I did use the 12 by 12 only on this particular project, but you'll see where I use the six, six by six in the, um, the other project that I created. Again, I'm just gonna put that in later. Cute little box right here, and I added a little, um, bud or hair and a couple little flowers just because you know she's so cute and then here's the photo map for this one love the stripe paper you flip it over again some more of that stripe paper another cute little photo mat here and the cute little stars and starburst paper another chipboard element here layer chipboard says shine bright and this cute little arrow it was a little too long so I just trimmed it and squished it together and made it fit on here because I thought it needed a little bit of color here. So I thought it was really, really cute. And then with the arrow paper right here. Another cute little photo mat. And you flip it over and on the last back page, again, I have some more of that cute design paper. Another photo mat right here. And here is the insert for this one. And these inserts are pretty big. They're going to be five inches by seven and a quarter and then your journal spot is two and a half by four and three quarters so there's quite a bit of space there so on the back inside cover I have the last cute little animal die cut which is a cute little deer and I added a little glitter star that I had a piece of glitter paper in my stash and I just punched it out with a punch and I added it to the front here and then this is a little magnetic closure right here so this is a little hidden waterfall so you can journal right here and then this folds down, and here's my waterfall pages. Now this little pink right here, this is some washi tape I had in my stash. I just added that to the space here just to break it up. So there it is, so cute. Again, such a different color palette, but I think it's very modern looking. I thought it was quite cute. And then on the closure here, I created a little tiny pocket, and these are the three by four cut aparts. Super cute, says stay sweet, be brave, be kind, wild and free, your greatest adventure, and play all day. So those just all get tucked back in there. And then the waterfall closes like this, and like that. So there you go, that's the first project I created. It was a little mini album using the girl papers from the 12 by 12 collection kit and the stickers as well. So that was the first one I made. And so then I pulled the boy, the boy papers from the 12 by 12 collection and I made a little folio. So again, same designs, but in the kind of a, the blues and the tans and the greens. So cute little bear here that I put on the front cover and I added some little bling to his eyes to make him stand out and I did pop him up with some foam tape. The only thing I added on this from my stash was a little bling here and this little piece of blue cardstock and I die cut using again a Lawn Fawn uh, circle die right here. This is a cute little banner from the sticker sheet. Same with this little label here and this one as well. And these little trees are from the die cut. This is a border strip from the design paper. Here is the spine and here is the back with the cute little animals again and they're kind of on a gray background. Um, just adorable color palette. So this is a similar kind of a take on the recipe folio that kind of opens up a bunch but I did shrink it down a little bit. Um, so it measures six by eight. So again, some more of the paper right here. So you open it up and I have some magnets to keep it closed. Again, some more, um, ephemera pieces here. And then I die cut again, this circle here with that same doily die that I used on the front. A couple more stickers that I layered on top of each other and another piece of ephemera. So then it's, I'm going to start this way. It opens like this and I have some pockets here. Again, another cute little animal <laughs> and I added some bling to his little eyes. And then there's some photo mats here. Again, um, another 
piece of ephemera and another card that I just trimmed down it was a four by six one. And then I left this one plain and then I added some design paper here. Another layered chipboard element says explore. And then for this tag, <laughs> this tag is actually the packaging for the layered chipboard. But it was so cute because it had this little design and I just covered up the branding, the marketing information back here and it already has a hole in it. And then you flip it over and then there, it's so cute with the cute little paper and it says Bow Bunny layered chipboard. Super cute. So I upcycled as well. <laughs> so those are going to go back in there. Over here I have on the first page, there's some pages that are stacked here, and I have a layered chipboard piece. There's an insert right here. Super cute paper. Again, they're white right here, and then some more design paper here, and some more design paper here. Now, in this project, I did use some 6x6 papers because I ran out of um, paper. So I did use the 6x6, and I'll show you when I get to that as well. Over here, again, another cut apart right here. This was one of the ephemera pieces, and I made a little photo mat here. And then this is some of the ribbon that they sent, this pretty little dark tan grow grain ribbon, and same with the navy blue. And I used um, a little hole reinforcer punch from We Are Memory Keepers out of white card stock, and just, just to make sure that they wouldn't tear. Again, here's a 3x4 card, so that just goes back in there. And then I have two pocket pages right here, and again, they sent me some twine, so I added the twine and the navy ribbon here and these are the inserts and they're just plain they're white here so you can journal and then they have design paper on the back now this is where I did use the as you can see the six by six papers so these are exactly the same and you flip it over and again another cute little deer only he doesn't have a bow in his hair because he's a boy. And then a cute little um, sticker right here. Another ephemera card here. And I just glued it down on three sides and made a little tag. This is a cute little pull tab from the sticker sheet. Some more design paper again from the 6x6 on these little inserts here. And then here is the insert for this one. Love the star paper. Cute little um, paper with all the little animals on it. And there's the back. And on the back here, again, I just layered up one another one of the three, three by four cards. On the back inside of this section, I took the border strip and made a skinny little pocket here, and I added some more of these little tags. And these were on the sticker sheet. And I added some of the uh, ribbon that they sent to the tops here and put them on some um, craft colored cards so I can just fussy cut around them. And then I have one more little journal card right here. Cute animals, just adorable. Love the little um, bunny, it says hip hop. He's got a little, little tie on, He's so cute. So that's that section and then over here this opens up and then I have again another one of those cute little arrows from the ephemera pack. The same love you to the moon and back but it's with the boy color so I trimmed it down to fit on this element here and I did use my We Are Memory Keepers uh, chomper here on the edges. So this is a magnetic closure and this is a waterfall right here. This is where I use the 6x6 six six papers and again I have some more 12x12 12 12 down here. So. Super cute. And these pages, you can get a good three, yeah, they're like five and three quarters by three and three quarters, so you could trim a four by six down or three by five photo. And then this is the continuation of that paper. So that just goes down like this and closes with a magnet. So then on the last section, I made an expandable pocket. Um, I used a border strip right here and just layered them up on some cards, some of the design papers here, a magnetic closure, the cute little bunny 3x4 card, and I added um, a little center to his, from my stash, to his little tie here, and then some little black bling to his little eyes. And there's a magnetic closure, and then there's a big old space here, so you can put all kinds of uh, cards and memorabilia and baby first and all that cute stuff in there. So that's the second project I created using the boy papers from the Little Wonders collection. And then um, this is just what I have left. I only have the one large piece of ephemera and then a couple of strips. I had one chipboard layered chipboard piece left. And then this is all I have left on the sticker sheet. And then as far as the 12 by 12 papers, this is it. I did have one full sheet left and then just these few little scraps. So I thought that was pretty good. So I made those two projects and then I had wanted to Keep working. So I made a couple of cards to go with these projects. Here's the little girl one here, and they're five and a half by five and a half. I layered up some of the flowers here. I did add some enamel dots for my stash. This is the ribbon that they had sent me. Another one of those cute little sticker tags from the sticker sheet. 
I die cut a doily with some white cardstock and I did add this pink cardstock from my stash and I ran it through an embossing folder that had little stars on it just to mimic the background here. And this is one of the six by six papers here and a border sticker right there. These flowers are beautiful. And again, they're from 49 and Market and that was part of the kit that they had sent me. So you open it up and then I layered some more design paper and this is a space for you to write your sentiment on. So that's the little girl card to go with the girl project. And here's the little boy card. Cute, huh? Had another layered chipboard element left. It says, Be Little, Dream Big. Some white card stuck from my stash and that little scrap of the blue paper that I used on the folio. I made a little banner flag the ends. This is some more pretty little sheer ribbon that they had sent me. Again, another little sticker here. I laid up some design papers here. And this little strip is from the 6x6. Six six. The others are all from the 12x12. 12 12. I found these little enamel, dot, enamel dots in my stash and I thought they kind of matched the collection really, really well. So I stuck those down there just to add a little extra oomph. And here's the inside of the card. So there's two cards and then I had a little bit left and so I dug through my stash and got out some uh, chipboard tags and they're the Prima ones. Um, and I made a couple of tags. <laughs> so here's the tag for the girl project. So it'd be really cute to wrap the mini album, you know, in a cute little package and then tie the tag on the outside and then you have a card. So it's a whole little set. Again, some more ribbon that they had sent me. This is the satin ribbon. This is the pink seam binding. Some more flowers that I um, added here. I did on the edges of my tags, instead of painting them with some white craft paint, I had some glitter tape from, I think it was from Cricut, out of my stash and I just went around the edges with that. Um, again, a die cut a doily here, and then this is another one of those super cute little tag stickers I put on white cardstock, fussy cut around it, and here's another sticker from the sticker sheet, and same with this. And then there is the back. I used the pretty star paper, and again, another border sticker right there. So that's the girl tag. And here's the cute little boy tag with that cute little boy bunny. <laughs> so adorable. And I did fussy cut the little uh, branding strip from the 12 by 12 that says Little Wonders and just stuck that on there here. And again, I added another dark navy flower here with a couple of leaves. Some more of that sheer ribbon and the navy grow grain ribbon here. Again, another cute little um, sticker here. And then I die cut um, another rectangle here with the lawn fawn die enamel dot right there. And there's the back. And I added a cute little label here on the back from the sticker sheet. So there you go. Whew, that was a lot, huh? Thank you for hanging with me. <laughs> but there's two tags, two cards, a folio, and a mini album right there. All from the fabulous Little Wonders kit that Julie and Daphne from Scrap and Create sent me. So there you have it, everybody. And the link is in the description box to their website so you can pick up the kit. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.